Good morning. In the last two lectures, we have learned about the meaning of consolidation of soil, swelling, and the word compressibility. Also, we have learned about the immediate settlement, primary consolidation, and secondary consolidation, and the difference between compaction and consolidation, and principle of consolidation. So let us start today's class Terzaghi's theory of one dimensional. Before the actual uh, theory, Terzaghi assumed that compression and flow are one dimensional that is vertical. In the last class, we saw that piston is moving downward, water is escaping upward. So the movement will be only in vertical direction that is one dimensional. And second assumption is Darcy's law is valid that is V is equal, proportional to I that is V is equal to Ki. And third assumption is soil is homogeneous. Fourth is soil is completely saturated. And the consolidation ke shuruat mein pada ki consolidation ho gai waha jaha soil amara saturated ho gai. The soil grains and water are both incompressible. Dono incompressible assume ki hai. Strains are small. That is the applied load increment produces virtually no change in thickness and K that permeability and AV. AV is coefficient of compressibility remains constant. And the seventh assumption is there is a unique relationship independent of time between void ratio and effective stress that is D is equal to minus AV del sigma bar D sigma bar where AV is assumed constant over the stress income and AV is coefficient of compressibility. The negative sign is because with the increase in stress the void ratio decreases. So these are the assumptions of Terzaghi's theory of one dimensional consolidation. Now consider a case in which a clay layer of thickness 2H is sandwiched between two layer of sand and this clay layer is actually the consolidating layer. It means if or we can say in the in the figure above a clay layer is sandwiched between two sand strata. The clay layer is subjected to an increase in total vertical stress del sigma distributed uni uniformly over the semi infinite area. At the instant of loading that is at initially at t is equal to 0, the excess pore water pressure will increase uniformly by ui and that ui will be the applied stress or total vertical stress over the thickness 2h of the layer as shown here a b c d that will be uniform after a time t has elapsed because of the drainage into the sand layers above and below here clay layer is sandwiched between two layers of sand so 
drainage will be in both the direction in up it will be vertical but in up upward and downward both so the distribution of excess pore water pressure will have changed to the shape shown by the unshaded area here like this if we take a small element of size dx dy dz at a depth z from the upper sand layer here we can see the dimension is dx dy and dz so assume an element of dimension dx dy dz at a depth z from upper sand layer from continuity equation the inflow will be the outflow from this small element isko humne bahut detail mein calculate kiya tha continuity equation ko when hum log seepage padh rahe the us waqt humne kafi abhi thoda sa short mein isko main isko सिर्फ फॉर्मूला लिख दे रहा हूँ सो दैट कि वीडियो लंबा ना हो तो इसीलिए हमने जस्ट इसको ये लिखा द कंटिन्यूटी क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्लो इज इक्वल टू आउट फ्लो इट मीन्स द रेट ऑफ स्टोरेज और डिप्लेशन ऑफ वाटर इन द सॉइल एलिमेंट पर यूनिट टाइम डेल डब्ल्यू बाई डेल टी विल बी इक्वल टू डेल वी एक्स बाई डेल एक्स डेल बी वाई बाई डेल जेड डेल सॉरी डेल वाई इनफैक्ट डेल बी वाई वाई डेल वाई एंड डेल वी जेड बाई डेल जेड इन टू डी एक्स डी वाई डी जेड ये क्वेश्चन हमने बहुत ही डिटेल में इसको निकाला था सीपेज कैलकुलेशन के दौरान मैं उसका उस वीडियो का लिंक शेयर कर दूंगा आप लोगों को अगर डिटेल में समझना है तो उसको आसानी से आप देख सकेंगे जो हमने बताया था एलिमेंट्री स्क्वायर के बारे में वहाँ से ये चीज़ हमारा समझ में आएगा आपको टर्जागी इज्यूम्स वन डायमेंशनल कंसोलिडेशन विथ वन डायमेंशनल फ्लो दैट इज फ्लो इन जेड डायरेक्शन ओनली इट मींस डायरेक्ट फ्लो इन एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड फ्लो इन वाई डायरेक्शन विल बी जीरो नाउ द दिस इक्वेशन बिकम्स डेल वी जेड बाई डेल जेड डी एक्स डी वाई डी जेड इज इक्वल टू डेल डब्ल्यू बाई डेल टी अगेन एजूमिंग डार्सिज लाइज वैलिड मीन्स वी इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू आई दैट इज वी इज इक्वल टू के आई हेयर आई इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच बाई जेड इफ वी सी फ्रॉम दिस दिस पीजोमीटर्स द हेड डिफरेंस इज डेल्टा एच एंड द डेफ्थ इज जेड सो आई विल बी डेल्टा एच बाई डेल्टा जेड सो दिस इक्वेशन बी मीन्स वी जेड विल बी के जेड डेल्टा एच बाई डेल्टा जेड इफ द सॉइल इज होमोजीनियस मीन्स प्रॉपर्टी ऑल अलॉन्ग द सेम मीन्स दिस के जेड के जेड दैट इज परमेबिलिटी विल नॉट बी अ फंक्शन ऑफ जेड सो If we put here, so this equation becomes del v z by del z k z delta square h by del z square. Since h is the head loss which causes flow and the potential that produces during consolidation is the excess pore water pressure u. Pore water pressure is u is equal to h into gamma w. और h इज इक्वल टू यू बाई गामा डब्ल्यू अगेन गामा डब्ल्यू इज यूनिट वेट ऑफ वाटर दिस इज नॉट ए फंक्शन ऑफ z. सो दिस इक्वेशन रिड्यूसेज टू डेल वी जेड बाई डेल जेड दैट इज के जेड बाई गामा डब्ल्यू डेल स्क्वायर यू डेल जेड स्क्वायर इफ वी पुट दिस वैल्यू डेल बी बाई जेल डेल जेड दैट इज के जेड के बाई गामा डब्ल्यू डेल स्क्वायर बाई डेल जेड दिस इक्वेशन This equation will be become k z gamma w del square u del z square d x d y d z that is equal to del w by del t. Suppose this is equation number one. 
During consolidation process, the water flows out of the voids. The soil volume volume decreases by an amount equal to the volume of water which flows out. Thus, del W, this represents the change in volume of the element dx dy dz. Jitna volume water ka escape hoga, utna hi amara volume mein change hoga. It means del W by del T is equal to del by del T of dx dy dz, that is the volume of the element. If a soil element of volume V equal to dx dy dz and initial void ratio E0, the volume of the voids VV is equal to E0 by 1 plus E0 del x del y del z. Ye hum jante hai. When VV is to experience changes, E will be a variable and the volume of void will be e by 1 plus e naught dx dy dz. So a change in the volume of the soil is on account of the change in volume of voids. The volume of soil grains does not change because we have assumed the soil grains are incompressible as water is also incompressible. Assumption mein humne ye kiya tha. So del w by del t is equal to del by del t dx dy by dz or del dy uh, del by del t e by e wala hum agar volume ka rakhte hain to ye ho jata now this equation becomes del by del w by del t dx dy dz 1 plus e naught del e by del t but for small changes in effective stress del E is equal to A V del sigma bar. This assumption number 6 may be amne vudeka tha. This assumption may amne discuss kiya. Negative sign because E reduces with the increase in. So in consolidation process, as the excess pore water pressure dissipates, the effective stress increases. That is del sigma bar is equal to minus du or we can say del D E is equal to A V du. If we substitute for DE, then equation del W by del T will become dx divided dz 1 plus E0 AV del U by del T. Suppose this is equation number 2. If we compare equation number 1 and equation number 2 here, this is equation number 1 kz gamma W del square U del Z square dx divided dz del W by del T and del w by del t is equal to this equation so this dx by d dy dz dx dy dz 1 plus e naught a b del u by del t is equal to k z gamma w del square u del z square dx dy by uh, dx dz so this equation becomes del u del t k z 1 plus e naught a v gamma w del square u by del z square if this term kz 1 plus e naught av gamma w is replaced with cv a soil parameter called coefficient of consolidation this equation this equation becomes del u by del t cv del square by del z square and this equation is called terzaghi's one dimensional consolidation equation this coefficient of consolidation CV is the soil parameter governing the time rate of consolidation and its unit is in meter square per second or meter square per day. Here we will discuss some important terms that is drainage path. Drainage path may be double drainage or single drainage. Again we can see here 
इन केस ऑफ डबल ड्रेनेज वाटर विल गो आउट और कैन स्केप फ्रॉम अप साइड एंड डाउन साइड मीन्स ए पार्टिकल हैज टू मूव ए सॉइल और ए वाटर पार्टिकल हैज टू मूव मैक्सिमम ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ डी दैट इज इक्वल टू एच हाफ ऑफ द थिकनेस इन केस ऑफ डबल ड्रेनेज बट इन केस ऑफ सिंगल ड्रेनेज ए पार्टिकल हैज टू मूव द होल थिकनेस ऑफ द क्लेयर दैट इज टू एच दिस इज द केस ऑफ सिंगल ड्रेन मीन्स वन साइड डिसिपेशन ऑफ वाटर सो डबल ड्रेनेज इफ देर आर टू ड्रेनेज दैट इज टॉप एंड बॉटम एच विल बी द हाफ ऑफ द थिकनेस ऑफ द क्ले लेयर एंड इन केस ऑफ सिंगल ड्रेनेज इफ देर इज वन ओनली वन ड्रेनेज सर्फेस एच विल बी इक्वल टू द थिकनेस ऑफ टोटल थिकनेस ऑफ द क्ले लेयर Another important term is drainage path ratio z is equal to capital Z is equal to small z by h, and this small z is the what I, we have assumed this z and that is this h, and. one of the important factor that is called time factor time factor is equal to cv into t divided by h square where cv just we have learned coefficient of consolidation t is any time particular at which we want to calculate that consolidation and h is the half of the thickness of the h is the thickness in fact and degree of consolidation or consolidation ratio uz is equal to ui minus uz divided by ui ui is the initial and uz is consolidation at particular loca location that is 1 minus uz by ui taylor has suggested a relation between time factor tv and degree of consolidation taylor has suggested a relationship between degree of consolidation and the time factor if degree of consolidation u is less than equal to 60% the time factor t v will be pi by 4 u square for consolidation ratio more than 60% t v is equal to 1.781 minus 0.933 log 100 minus u percent these are thank you once again